Hello and welcome to the National Showcase Centre for Wales. Here in the Upper Swansea Valley. We hope you will enjoy exploring our very special caves. Danarogoff, Bone Cave, and Cathedral Cave. To help you understand what you will see, let me answer a few questions. First of all, what are caves? Caves are natural tunnels through the rocks that are just under the Earth's surface. They have been made very slowly by water wearing away the rocks. They are very different from man-made tunnels dug to take out valuable minerals like gold, lead and copper or building materials like slate. What is it like inside a cave? Caves are normally completely dark. But don't worry, our caves have electric lights all the way through, so you will be able to visit them easily and see all the cave features clearly. There are lots of noises in caves. The natural ones are from water splashing down into the passages. And there are also human voices in our caves. Stalactites and stalagmites, but which is which? Stalactites hand down, stalagmites go up. Telling you all about what you are seeing and how the caves were discovered. Caves can be colder than outside in summer, but warmer than outside in winter. They stay at around 10 degrees centigrade all the year round. That's why people and animals used to live in caves to get away from cold weather. And if you go into bone and cathedral caves, you will see displays of what these people were like. How old are the caves and the rocks around them? Caves and the rocks are very, very old far older than 3,000 years. The story goes back almost 350 million years. Let's start with a mum's and dad's age. Say they are 35 years old. 35 years multiplied by 10 is 350 years ago, about the time of the Great Fire of London and the plagues that killed thousands of people in England and Wales. 350 multiplied by 10 is 3,500 years ago. That's during the time when the Bronze Age people lived around here. 3,500 multiplied by 10 is 35,000 years ago. That's a time when the valleys were about to be filled with ice from glaciers. 35,000 multiplied by 10 is 350,000 years ago. And this was in the middle of an important time for cave creation here. But the rocks are much older than that. 350,000 multiplied by a thousand gives us 350 million years ago. That's when Ancient tropical oceans covered the area and a white mud on the sea floor would get thicker and eventually harden into the rocks you see around you here. Is there something special about the rocks where these caves are found? 
The largest caves, like these at Danarogoff, are made in rock called limestone. Limestone is made of bits of shells from ancient animals and a mineral called calcium carbonate. Rainwater is a very weak acid. When it reaches the ground, it will seep into the soil and then into the cracks in the limestone beneath. This will weaken the rock and dissolve holes in it. Very slowly, the holes and cracks get bigger and will become cave passages big enough for a person to squeeze into. Isn't this refreshing? When the water flow gets large enough, a cave stream or even a cave river will rush down making really large passages. Caves have all sorts of special and beautiful features formed by the natural action of water on the limestone. When water completely fills a passage, a round shape is made. Caves that are tall and narrow are made by streams rushing downwards quickly. Caves that are low and wide follow weaknesses in the rock called beds. Cavers have to crawl through these. Tiny streams make tiny caves. Big rivers make huge caves that can be many kilometers long. Sometimes ancient rivers have gone and left empty dry passages that may stay unchanged for hundreds of thousands of years. Caves can also get filled back in with sand and mud washed in by streams. Boulders can fall into the passage, blocking them. But the most beautiful features are made when some of the dissolved limestone becomes solid again. These are called cave formations and are made of crystals of the mineral calcite. Different names are used for where these are found and what shapes they have. Stalactites are on the roof. Stalagmites are on the floor. Curtains are on the side walls. Helictites are odd, twisty formations. And crystal pools have little basins of water. So now you know what caves are, what the rock is called, and what limestone is made of. And most important of all, how caves are formed by rainwater. At the National Show Cave Centre, you can visit the caves yourself and see the wonders underground.